Welcome to Space Opera, the TV show that's an opera in space. Space Opera was made in a mythical 1950s timeline. I wish I lived in that timeline. Sylvia, man, I hope that's your name. Give me the space apple. There you go. Hey, what kind of scam are you running? That's not a space apple. That's a plain old apple. No, it looks like a space apple to me. Give me that other apple over there. Okay, not sure what you think you're doing. Now look at this apple in my right hand. It is red, round, and firm. That's obviously a space apple. The one in my left hand, however, is red, round, and firm. That's obviously an earth apple. They look exactly the same to me. The same? As if. Look what happens if I drop them to the floor. <laughs> Bloody hell. Your space apple was actually a trick apple. Okay, let me grab these bananas. The one in my right hand is definitely a space banana. The one in my left hand is a plain one. Again, same difference. Let me disabuse you of this notion. See what happens if I drop them. <coughs> what the hell? Your space banana was a toy banana. You're just grasping at straws. I have one more example. Look at this space suit. Now, look at this suit. Do you see the difference? Obviously. If you wear your suit when you should be wearing your spacesuit, you'll kill yourself. If you wear your spacesuit when you should be wearing your suit, you'll look like a bloody space papoon. Well then, there you go. There's a difference. Sure, in this case there is. So I win. I want my space victory kiss right now. Just a second. Make a fist like this. Okay. I don't see what this has anything to do with anything. Your finger and your thumb form some sort of lips. So you can go ahead and kiss yourself to your heart's content. This episode of Space Opera was brought to you by the Atomic Suit Company. With an atomic suit, you're ready to take on anything. You might even say you'll have an atomic blast while wearing our suits. Haha. <laughs>